about 7.30, we knew the storm was coming. And so Phil and Daryl, one of our, our seasonals, went around and told people to put their awnings up, told them where the shelters were, um, let them know to come to the store if they were nervous. Um, we had quite a number of the campers come up to the to the store last night and wait out the storm, but we had a lot of them that were also out here. The person that happened to be here went to bed at 8.30 and pretty much slept through it, um, except they did wake up when the hail started. Uh, and then this is where the tree fell, and then obviously their, their truck is gone, but it fell on their tree, missed their camper, um, and they were just like, yeah, we're fine, we're good, um, when we came to check on them. Uh, said, who's in? D5 and D6 and we said we were and he's like is everybody sa is everybody with you and he said yes and he said and we said why and he said because your camper is tipped over and the tent is in the tree yeah the storm was blowing and the, the hail was actually blowing this way out toward the lake and at some point there was just a gust that just blew it right over we didn't see it happen it's probably about nine o'clock um, our tent was right here and that got blew up, blown up into the tree and this branch over here fell too. Um, that's really about all there is. Were you in the camper at the time? We were not. We were actually in the shelter. It was safe and, and dry and uh, there was never a moment where we thought we were in any danger in there. And We wouldn't have had a clue until we came out. Um, Are you full? Just a, have you come here before? We have. We absolutely love the place um, and we'll be finding a way to be back. And we're thankful for their hospitality too. They really helped us out. They put us up in their home and have gone out of their way to make sure we've had everything that we've needed. Um, and we do appreciate that. 